Hey, here's another story I uh, remember. This was with Boys to Men. I was with them when they were at the peak of their success, so around 95. Uh, and they were out on tour. And I remember they were playing in uh, uh, Camden, New Jersey at the big, I think it was a Sony Arena or something like that. And I mean, the, pace, the place was packed and that. And, and uh, Nate wanted me to come out to the show. And I mean, they all wanted me to come out to the show. So I came out. And, you know, I watched the show and about halfway through, I said, okay, that's, well, you know what? I I watched the whole show because at the very end, they did this trick where they all disappeared. And then I just took off and, you know, uh, you know, went home and uh, the, the, you know, went to sleep. And the next day, Nate called me and said, where were you? I go, what do you mean? He says, I was looking for you after the show. I wanted to see what you thought of the show. And I was like, oh, no. (laughs) And, And it's. You know, when a celebrity like that, when they they want you to be after the show so they can see you, they they value your opinion. They want to see they're 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 proud of their achievement, and and I am super proud of what they what they've done, and you know my other clients too. I, I'm, I'm they're like family to me, but I didn't think it was a big deal. I I thought they were busy and they didn't need me to to stick around, but it, it wasn't that wasn't the case. They were actually looking for me, and they. You know, Nate in particular wanted to know, you know, where was I? Because he, he wanted to talk to me and see how I thought about the show and all that. And and it's, it's just kind of like a a bad feeling that, that I, I felt like I let him down. But uh, from now on, when I do go see uh, clients that, that do want me to see the show, but I, I'm never going to be able to go to a show again. But when I do, uh, I, I, it's it's a good thing to, to stay after.